I just had an idea for something I wanted to crochet. I just finished this flower sweater and it took my whole life. So I don't think I'll ever want to do that again, even though it's such a cute pattern. It was a little bit hard. So I'm going to have to forget about that before I try it again. I want to do a sweater that's like this mesh stitch because I think it'll be a lot faster and I'll be able to do it like fast. Does that make sense? The reason I had this idea is because I was originally gonna make this cute like strawberry like market bag. So it was gonna be like pink, this, and then it was gonna have a green border and it was gonna look like a cute little strawberry. But I ran out of both my pinks. So if you can see there's two different shades of pinks and I don't have any more pink, I just have green. And I don't wanna buy any more yarn. Then I was like, oh, I can just unravel this and then I can do like a cute kind of like ombre mesh sweater, if that makes sense. Like, are you guys like, Getting what I'm saying? These are the colors that I have. So I'm thinking it's gonna be something like this, like bright and summery. I'm a little bit, I'm just gonna try and like freestyle it. I've never done that for a crochet project before. So this is gonna be the first time, but I like, I know how to do the mesh stitch and I made this sweater. So I feel like just combining them both, I could figure it out if that makes sense. That is my next crochet project because yeah. I just am hoping that this is enough yarn. I feel like it's going to be, but I'm honestly not sure. So here's the plan. Now that I got all my yarns all done, this is gonna be the order of the sweater. Then this teal and then- <gasps> Oh, that scared me so much. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> okay, so pardon that interruption. Anyways, what I was saying is I think I'm gonna do pink, yellow, teal, or whatever this color is, green, and then blue. This is gonna be the color of the sweater. And this is all the yarn I have. So hopefully this is enough to make a sweater. I don't know, we will see. Basically this is all my scrap yarn, which is good because I've been thinking I need to do something with it so it doesn't go to waste. So anyways, let's get started on this sweater. I'm hoping I have it done in like two days. I haven't been crocheting for that long because I talked to my mom for a little bit. It's not going very good. I chained just 76 like single crochets and then I just assumed like I'll just do exactly the same thing I was doing for the bag. And so I'm just not sure if that's working. This is, I've, I haven't even finished the first row. This is where we're at though. And it's kind of hard to see because it's like, it's looking pretty bad if I do say so myself. Obviously the this mesh sweater isn't the cutest thing in the world. But what I'm worried about is like, is it just going to look like, is it all gonna like, like gradually get better? bigger so like this part is gonna be the smallest and then it's gonna get bigger so i've been thinking that as i've been crocheting and i'm like okay i would suck to get like pretty far in like halfway and then be like okay yeah this is definitely getting bigger so i just watched a little video i think that pushed me in the right direction i'm still gonna try to do it the rest like by my own mind and i'm not following the video but i do think we might be on the wrong track here Okay, that's the first five crochets. This is the first row. It's all done. It looks better than the last time. I'm still a little unsure of how this is gonna go, but we'll see. And I definitely think I don't have enough yarn. I guess I could do a sweater with no sleeves, actually. That would save me a lot of yarn. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, sweater with no, with no sleeves, that's the new plan. I've gone through all the colors for the sweater. It's about this long. I probably should have done it a little bit shorter, like lengthwise, but like so far it's going to about my rib cage. I don't know how it's that short. It's looking cute, but what I have done is I did three rows of pink, three rows of yellow, three rows of teal, and three rows of blue. And that's all the colors I have. I have a little bit of cream left. And so I guess I might do that, but then also I have the most of pink. So I think I might go another row of pink, but if I do any of the other colors, then I won't have any more, I won't have any more yarn for like the other side of the sweater. So since like this is front, I'm gonna need to do the back. But I was thinking, I don't know, I probably should watch the video. I'm probably not to the point yet where I can just like freestyle. I was thinking maybe if I like did it like this. I don't know though. I mean, this actually isn't too bad. Maybe I need to keep thinking on this plan. 
Okay, I literally wasn't even thinking of this until I started filming this. Here's what I'm thinking now. If I measure this all out correctly, and then I just do like pink down, pink down from here to here, yellow down from here to here, green down from here to here, then that's probably cute. But then the arms, I don't know if I could figure out the arms, but it couldn't be that hard. Then I just would probably pick it up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a freehander, it turns out. So I'm gonna stitch these sides together and then I'm gonna measure out where the body needs to be and then I'm just gonna go with that. And then we'll figure out the sleeves once I finish the body. That's what we're doing for now. Wish us luck. I don't know if I've told you guys yet, but I decided I'm not making a sweater anymore. That was the original plan. And then I just decided I'm not to that point of pushing that I could just freehand a sweater. Originally, this was, this was where I was going. This was like gonna be the neck and that was the body. This like hanging part was the body. Um, but then I decided I just wasn't sure how that was gonna work out. So I turned it into a bag and I know there's lots of strings so it looks really terrible right now, but it's going to be like this. The straps are gonna be longer and then I'm gonna connect the bottom and it's just gonna be like a mesh like tote bag. So it should be pretty easy to finish. I was trying to figure out how to do like a decrease in the strap, but I did not figure that out. I think I maybe did an increase. So we're gonna try that again. Cause I would like the straps to get like smaller as they go up, you know? I don't know, maybe not. And then I was doing pink on the bottom of the bag just cause I have the most pink of all the colors, but I don't know how long I want the bag because the thing is with like this mesh stitch, it stretches a lot. So I'm thinking, I'm like, that's probably good. And then I can just like connect the bottom. I don't know how I'll connect the bottom, but I'll figure out how to connect the bottom and then finish off the straps. So that's kind of where we're at. I will say this video has taught me I'm not as good of a crocheter as I thought I was. Apparently knowing like three stitches isn't enough. I definitely need to learn a lot more. So, yep, that's where we're at. Can you see the vision? Like, it's not gonna be the cutest bag, but it's just scrap yarn, and I just was doing this because I didn't really have a project I wanted to start, and it's just for fun. Not the best, I know, but it would have been worse as a sweater. But I do think I wanna try a mesh sweater actually after this and, like, actually follow a pattern. the bag last night and let me tell you before I show it to you guys it's not the worst thing in the world it actually turned out better than I thought for where we started and to where we ended it's pretty good are you guys ready for it drum roll please Ta -da! this is the bag so like it looks pretty cute on I don't know it's just like a mesh bag I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I definitely was expecting it to be worse. It's definitely like a little bit weird. I did figure out how to decrease. Uh, it doesn't look very good where I ended up decreasing, but I did a little white on the end because I ran out of the rest of the colors. So we used all the scrap yarn, so that's good. But yeah, I'm not sure if it will hold anything. Like I have three things to put in it to show you guys. This is it with something like basically empty. Okay, it does a good job. Something with a little bit. I don't know, but does it like look weird? And also the thing is, since this is so thick, if it's like not like curved in, if it gets like stuck or something, it can look really weird. And then the third, this is really heavy. This is like five pounds. Okay, see, so it's like, it's hanging, but it's, it's staying together. So definitely, I don't know if it's like the cutest thing in the world, but it works as a bag. And if you're just carrying like something light or like to the beach, cause it's like, mesh. I don't know if crochet is ever good at the beach. That is the final product. It definitely, the straps are probably the weakest point because like what is happening right there? But as long as it's folded in, it looks good for the most part. So yeah, 